Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to Bravo Architects. Today, I'm going to take you through the design approach of a library building. Stay with me and let's get started. So let's think about an imaginary bookshelf with two of its racks. Placing a book in the bookshelf with a little bit of tilted angle would representatively look like this. And let's turn these lines into x-rays. Now that we are trying to settle down in a site like this, we can create a quadrangle by offsetting the setbacks into the site. Just by extruding this quadrangle, we can have a solid massive shape. Next, we're gonna destroy this shape and all we have to do is to use these book in the bookshelf lines as references. You're gonna wanna play with the lines a little bit give it a little scale or rotate it just to find a great point where you can divide the shape into smaller portions according to the functions in the architectural program. So in this stage of architectural design, you don't really need to go down into details like openings and windows, you know, but you would still have a basic idea of where you would have the glazings or the solid facades. You just need to complete the buildings according to the site analysis and your bubble diagram along with zonings. Once we get everything nicely and clearly done in this process, we can get to the main architectural design, creating the floor plans, sections and elevations, along with circulation and architectural scenario, as well as structural, mechanical and electrical solutions. And that's basically one of too many ways of initiating the architectural design process. Hey, thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hit the like button if you did so. Please consider subscribing to Bravo Architects if you would like to watch similar videos like this. And as always, see you next time.